and welcome to Lois's Adventures Place Pokemon Go with me, Lois Marinucci, as your host. In this video, we will be searching for Spinda as well as Alolan Marowak. I will be doing my next Mewtwo EX raid and we will be covering two days of Community Day featuring Eevee and all of its evolutions. And we are on our way to my ninth Mewtwo EX raid and hopefully be more successful this time in catching my eighth Mewtwo in this go around. And we just ran into DX1 himself, my pal Julian, on my way down to my next Mewtwo EX raid battle. As I head to Love Park and join everyone else who got an EX raid pass that day, it was packed. But we all had fun battling and taking down Mewtwo. It was great to see people like Ishmael and a handful of others once again. People I hadn't seen in quite a while. In fact, we all worked together to beat Mewtwo and then in the end we all caught it. I did it! I caught my 8th Mewtwo finally, and I got it on my first throw. I'll never forget finally catching that Mewtwo, though it's not a near perfect one. At least it's okay, at least I finally succeeded. Stay tuned as I continue my search for Spinda. Well, I did it. I finally caught Spinda. The only way you can get Spinda is by looking for the field research task, make three curveballs in a row, or land three curveballs in a row, and when you complete that task, you will get Spinda. There are eight forms of Spinda with the different patterns on it currently in Pokemon Go. I am with Todd Van Wagner, and we're about to do an Alolan Marowak raid. And we just got word of one over at the Temple Campus. Right, Todd? Indeed. Can't wait. Todd and I finally find and do a Alolan Marowak raid as we're joined by some of his friends in taking this beast down. It felt great to finally go after my first Alolan Marowak and finally capture it to add its form to the Pokedex. I will never forget this experience with Todd. Well, today I finally did it. I not only caught my first Alolan Marowak, but while I was trading with Todd, I finally managed to get my first three lucky Pokemon, which of course was just recently launched into Pokemon Go. And now I finally have a Shiny Charmeleon to complete the Shiny Charmander line. And we are on our way to the art museum for the first part of this first ever Pokemon Go community weekend, which is now two days instead of one, giving us multiple chances to catch as many shiny Eevee as we can. And oh, if you had already used the name trick to name one of your Eevee already for evolutionary purposes, it won't work again. It can only be done once. So... If you want to get a um, Espeon or Umbreon, you gotta walk 10 kilometers with your Eevee and evolve either or during the day or night to get Jolteon, Vaporeon, or Flareon. Just evolve them and you'll get them after you evolve one of your Eevee at random. And we are joined here by Evan. What's up? One of my moderators, I'm one of his moderators. No. I'm catching a Raikou right now, actually. I'm joined by my friends Bridget and May. And we're still hunting for more shiny Eevee. 
we're here but with Caden, aka Gamer Chew, and I don't really have a YouTube channel. I'm I'm talking about in poke and his oh, your username? Yeah. Oh, Donnie Pat. Are we doing like a party? AKA Dominic. Okay. How many shies did you catch? You guys got eight. So sixteen for both. Oh, Only three for me. How many cookies did you eat? Community weekend was a success. It netted me 10 shiny Eevee, which of course, I eventually was able to get all the forms of Eevee from generations one and two. And of course, during this weekend, I also got to meet one of my fellow Pokemon Go friends who I speak to a lot on Facebook, Devin, who was with his wife, Rachel, and their friends. And of course, I also ran into Evan, and of course, Caden, aka Gamer Chew. And of course, I even ran into Ishmael and the others once again to close out this community weekend. some news to share with everyone one I have changed my in-game name from CVPI 19 to Lewis Adventures to match the name of, of this channel two Celebi officially launches into Pokemon Go next week and three Reggie Rock is now out in the game and later on I will close out this video with my search for my first ever Reggie Rock to add, hopefully, to the Pokédex. I was excited the day after Reggie Rock was released into Pokémon GO, but of course, it was rough for me and frustrating as I joined friends like Marvin, Ken, and the others in trying to catch this new legendary Pokémon from Generation 3 and I was not lucky during my first three tries that day. It kept getting out of my Pokeball. No matter how many great throws I tried to net, it kept escaping. And I was so disappointed, so upset. But of course, I still carried on. And of course, you'll see at the end of this video, I finally do succeed catching this beast but it wasn't easy and as Pokemon Master Holly says it is a challenge and everyone else kept telling me you gotta keep on grinding and keep trying again until you finally succeed well today just hasn't been my day over three and Reggie Rock Raids. Unfortunately, my search for this for this legendary still continues. Maybe I'll have luck tomorrow or sometime next week. We're here at City Hall. Hopefully this time, round four will be the redemption round. The round that I need to finally catch my first Reggie Rock, hopefully. Stay tuned to see if I finally get it. Well, I finally did it. I had help with from my friends Victoria and Saveo over here. <laughs> and now I finally got Reggie Rock for my Pokédex and my collection. If you like this video, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And remember, it's time for adventure.